What is up, guys? It is a chilly, misty, foggy afternoon in Central California. And today we're going to talk about how to turn prospects into lifelong clients. So this is, <laughs> this is a thing that's near and dear to my heart. And I wanted to share it with you because this has been the secret sauce to over the last three years, our business has, looking back over the last three years, our business has literally 10 times. And I know that's a that's a cliche now. You have the Grant Cordon's 10X principle, all those different, hey, we're gonna 10X your business, we're gonna 100X your business, we're gonna do all that stuff, right? Well, uh, it's true. And one of the biggest aspects of that was making sure that our prospects were being treated so well that they stayed with us for those three years. Not everyone did, uh, but for the most part, our um, retention rate on all of our clients for ProSulum, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com, uh, all of our retention rates for our clients, they were, uh, they, they have been at minimum, like conservatively, like conservatively, on average, a year, okay? Um, more, more often than not, it's about two years plus. And there's a secret to that. It's not just because of the service, although that's a huge part of it, obviously, but it's because of a lot of other things as well. So first and foremost, getting into it, uh, like this video, it helps out. It helps other people find this video and I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, hit the notification bell and let's begin. So one of the biggest aspects of business and I've had ProSulum since 2009, it's went through various forms. Uh, and one of the things that has stood out that I think has been the secret sauce to a lot of what we do has been doing doing things differently than what is normally taught out there. Because what's normally taught? What is what is the big thing? If you're if you have your own business, if you're uh, or if you're just starting a business, one of the big things is what? How do I do SEO? How do I do Facebook ads? How do I get new leads in the door? How do I uh, get uh, how do I learn how to use Google Ads or retargeting and all those different things? Well, we actually for the uh, we went from uh, from ba basically we ten ten times our revenue and to the point where we are doing extremely well as a business and most of that was done, if not all of it actually, all of that was done without any type of traditional advertising, traditional marketing and stuff like that. A lot of that was done through various means, okay? Um, which we'll go through, go over um, on this. And <clears throat> one of the problems that I that I always had when I was starting a business was, uh, I just never was this outgoing guy. I'm a very much an introvert. I'll, even these videos, they take a lot out of me whenever whenever I'm doing these videos, but I like doing them because it's, it's helping you. It's uh, giving you tips that have worked for me. Um, a lot of people are so good at just getting out on, on a Facebook ad, going out and doing their thing and dancing. I, like I just saw this one lady, Miss Excel or whatever, she has her new, uh, this new Facebook advertising campaign talking, showing how uh, she uses Excel and she's like dancing around and acting all silly and stuff. I can't do that. I don't want to look like a fool. Uh, it just, it's just the way, uh, it's just not going to happen, right? Um, but she's crushing it right? In her own right. She's getting a lot of new leads, uh, which is great. But um, the the biggest thing is, in my opinion, it's not really getting new leads. The, the, you want to, you, so what has worked for us has been taking those people who have come into our door, come into our world and treating them like kings and queens, right? Treating them like they are important. So, that that can be through custom, uh, you know, different customer service things. Like for example, um, if something goes wrong, we comp we compensate for that. Um, you know, if if one of the the VSAs that we have at ProSulum uh, 
is is not doing what they're supposed to be doing, we, we compensate for that. But let me get kind of uh, digress real quick. So be, n- number one, the biggest thing that's going to get people to stick with what you have is having a good product or service. <laughs> having a good product or service. And generally you wanna have something that they're gonna use all the time, uh, a recurring service. I used to run a $2 million a year drop shipping company. And uh, one of the things that would happen is it, customers wouldn't stick because they, it's like a one-off thing, right? They, they get, you know, I ship them a, a refrigerator, drop ship them a refrigerator, and uh, they're not really gonna buy from me again, right? Uh, especially since I was doing that on Amazon, they, they'll buy it from anyone, right? So <clears throat> the biggest thing is having something that sticks with people. So like with ProSulum, we have our virtual systems architects, which are, they're virtual assistants. They're people that are, are overseas and people know, a lot of people know what virtual assistants are, but they've gone through the pain of having to train them. They've gone through the pain of having to hire them. And basically what we do is we have someone where they can show how to do something in five minutes. It gets documented into a process by the VSA, by that virtual systems architect. And then the VSA does it for them. So they never have to do it again. So the the, the business owner never has to do it again. Super valuable service. The, the person ends up, the, the VSA ends up being a, an integral part of their business. And so they just keep going, going, going. So number one is having a good product that differ, it's different than anything else and that grows with the person that that helps and give value constantly to that person and that's hard so like if you're in uh, real estate you know a lot of the times you're going to buy it someone's going to buy a house from you uh as a realtor and then you're never going to hear them again but that kind of goes plays and plays into number two which is <clears throat> giving to me this is this has always been such a huge thing and really nobody ever does this is giving gifts, okay? Giving gifts. And the cool thing is you can automate gift giving. And that's what we do at ProSulum is we, I take what I would want to do for somebody. If I could clone myself into a hundred different people, I would want, I want to, I want to take that and clone it into a hundred different Ways I, I want to be able to take that one idea and be able to just scale it infinitely, right? And so we use a thing called Zend. So we use two things. One is Active Campaign, which uh, it's just a marketing automation thing. There's Infusionsoft, Entreport, Active Campaign. There's all these different uh, services out there that allow for tagging and allow for um, based off of certain things to happen for something to go out. So for us, when a customer is with us for a little while, when they've gone through a couple of billing cycles or maybe one billing cycle, I'm not going to say what because you're, you're, uh, if you become a customer, then you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to expect this and expect that. Uh, using Active Campaign, it will ping Zend- Zendirect and send them things like a brownie a package of brownies with a card with a picture of my family on it saying thank you so much for you know being a client and stuff and then they might get like uh, uh, gift cards they might get other kinds of treats later on and these are things that just help them to be reminded that they are special that they are, that we actually care about them. And what happens is that it's two things. One is that they stick with us. Like I said, they stick minimum a year. Like, and that's like really conservative. So usually it's about two years, okay? They stick with us, plus they buy more from us. They get, they wanna get another VSA. And then on top of that, they want to refer us as well. Not a lot of people anymore send direct mail. They will send you know, a Christmas card uh, via email, right? They'll send an email that says, hey, Merry Christmas, we value you so much. When the person knows, come on, you know that that was just sent by a broadcast. That was just sent by a, you know, a, a bulk emailer, right? But when someone gets a card with a gift in the mail, that's huge, right? Uh, that is that is something that has been a staple of our business since I can remember. We were doing that since uh, when, when we had the Online Empire Academy teaching people how to dropship on Amazon, um, I would send gifts. 
Um, I even had a thing that would, uh, would automatically call them and it would say, <clears throat> Uh, if, if, it went, if it went to an answering machine, it just said, hey, this is Dean Soto. just wanted to say hi. Uh, thank you so much for getting Dream Drop Shipping. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if it was, uh, if, if they answered, it would actually say, hey, this is Dean Soto. Yes, this is a recording. Uh, uh, this, is a record, uh, this is a recording, but I just wanted to thank you so much for getting Dream Drop Shipping, yada, yada. It's like those little things, right, that nobody ever does that really make a huge difference and you can scale that out in so many different ways. And then um, lastly, number three is actually caring about your client. And this is where I kind of touched on earlier is that if something really goes wrong or if something goes wrong, like my, my this is why, so with ProSulum, we have a risk-free money-back guarantee. So they pay up front for their VSA, but within the 30 days, the first 30 days, they can ask for a refund if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out. And boom, we give, them, we give them a refund. It doesn't really matter. It could be because they don't like the person's look. They don't, they don't like the way the person sounds. They don't like, maybe they just had a bad day and they want a refund. Who cares? It's like a no-risk money-back guarantee. One, it shows that we care, right? <clears throat> Two, it shows that we really truly believe in our product. We really believe in our service. And three, it shows that we really care about the person. So later on, you know, past the 30 days, if something were to happen, um, in fact, we just had someone, um, one of their VSAs just kind of uh, disappeared for a reason that, I mean, it happens, it's, it's staffing. Anytime you're dealing with employees, you're always gonna have something come up right um so uh there's like all this staticky stuff over here yeah whatever um you're always gonna have things happen so what did we do we actually comped them uh, uh so sometimes we'll comp them a month depending on how much of a big hit it is it might be comp compensating them two months so they get two months of free labor um from our vsas um and that's because we truly care about you know we we'd never want you to be put in a bad position, right? You know, that's totally our bad, 100%. And then you take ownership of it and, um, and, they, and we, we make sure that it's right, right? And so it's things like that that people don't ever, I mean, very rarely do I ever see anybody do stuff like that where they really take ownership. Um, I actually had a, a client where <clears throat> they chose us over another uh, another uh, outsourcer because the outsourcer was asking for five thousand dollars up front, saying that they would, you know, they they would get them all these different types of results and so on and so forth. And I said, well, why don't you ask them if they don't, if you don't get the results, if you can get a refund, a full refund? And they said no. They the uh, the other guy said no. And I said, well. If you, you know, if you don't get results in 30 days with our guys, you get a full refund. That's it. And uh, what do you think happened? The guy's like, I'll go with you. And uh, what happened? He got results. <laughs> so that's, uh, those are the big things that you can do with your, uh, your product or service is really, sh is really care. Um, I remember when, um, Back in the day when we were uh, living, we actually lived in Southern California. I had one real estate agent, David Sedoni. Um, he has a he has a if you uh, search David Sedoni, he has this really cool podcast um, out there, and he helps first time home buyers buy homes. Uh, we were not looking to buy a home, but he was. He actually gave my wife a gift for our new baby that was coming. Uh, gave a, gave her some sunscreen, and uh, what what happened? Uh, we referred him to a sale at the time that I think was like six hundred thousand dollars, and so uh, it was a friend of ours that was looking for a real estate agent, and uh, we referred him. It was a six hundred thousand dollar sale, and I'm I'm sure he made a lot of money off of that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's things like that that nobody ever does. It's gift giving. It's caring about the other people. It's really it's really looking at how would you want to be treated. What are the things that you can do to scale? And you can automate all this stuff with Zapier and ActiveCampaign and things like that. 
go to zendirect.com. Um, they, you can pay as you go. So whenever you get a new client, you don't even have to like pay a monthly fee. I do the pay as you go thing. And when my clients hit a certain billing cycle, boom, they get brownies in the mail, you know? Um, so yeah, just, you know, those are the things to me that help bring long-term clients. And, um, if I were to go look at the actual average, I'm guessing we're about one, one and a half to two years. Um, but I just always use that one year just to make advertising easier and stuff. So anyway, this is Dean Soto. Hopefully that helps check out, uh, freedom in five minutes.com, uh, Check out uh, prosulum.com, P-R-O-S-U-L-U-M.com. Like, subscribe. Did I just do a loser side? That's not a subscribe. You're not losers. I love you. I love you so much. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.